after hearing Joe Rogan's podcast mention that Elon Musk supposedly developed an app and he knew the election results hours before we, the people, the voters knew, it got me to thinking, why on earth would the DNC allow such a man with massive control over technology infrastructure and who also has financial interest in the election? This kind of access, especially after knowing that a judge in Pennsylvania allowed Musk to help Donald Trump's campaign by giving people away a million dollars. So his incentive gears toward votes for Trump. This got me to think about our country and where have we become? And here's the part that raises even more concerns and questions about Musk who reportedly communicated with Russia and shared information. Putin's ally said it himself, and he has a security clearance. Full control over the Starlink satellite base internet service he created from SpaceX. So, what did I do? I reached out to AI and ChatGPT and my friends in the military with cybersecurity experience and to ask the question if Musk's satellite network Starlink is involved in transmitting this data, could potentially there be something that he could do to falsify the election? And yeah. Everybody said it's possible, who has the experience. So there are so many voters who are finding out by going to the voter registration website and finding that the vote was not counted and they voted. This is scary. So let's see what's going on. This idea might seem extreme, but when we're dealing with a network provider as powerful as Starlink, it's not out of the realm of possibility. A network provider with Starlink's reach and advanced technology could hypothetically intercept or alter data during an election. Imagine a scenario where if data initially showed candidate X as the winner, the network could adjust it to show a 20% advantage for the opposing candidate. This isn't as far-fetched as it might sound. As vote data moves through network layers on its way to central servers, a provider like Starlink could intercept this data during transmission. With this level of access, vote data could be subtly altered before it reaches its final destination potentially changing the intended result without raising immediate suspicion. At the data center level, a network provider could insert specific code to adjust vote counts in favor of particular candidates. This could occur either through direct access to servers or by embedding scripts in transmission protocols. Control at this level might even bypass local security measures, adding another layer of vulnerability. Using machine learning, a network provider could analyze vote data in real time, identify closely contested regions, and subtly shift votes to make the changes appear as natural variations. This manipulation would look like a series of minor shifts rather than obvious alteration, which would help avoid raising any suspicion. Any evidence of tampering could be erased by backdoors within the system that delete or adjust logs, effectively erasing records of manipulation attempts. With this level of control, tampering could be hidden from local systems, keeping any issues or unauthorized changes undetected. Although these scenarios are hypothetical, there are real-world examples that show election interference isn't as far-fetched as we'd like to believe. During Ukraine's 2014 presidential election, Russian hackers targeted Ukraine's election accessing the system, and attempting to alter vote counts to change the election outcome. Fortunately, Ukrainian officials detected the tampering and corrected it in time, but the incident highlighted the serious risk of external interference in elections. In the 2016 U.S. presidential election, several states reported attempts to access voting systems by Russian operatives. The Department of Homeland Security revealed that 21 states were targeted, and Illinois even saw its voter data accessed. This showed that interference attempts were real, even if they weren't fully successful. In Kenya's 2017 election, Hackers allegedly infiltrated the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission servers. There were claims that vote counts were tampered with, which fueled public distrust in the election process, even though these claims were disputed. This incident emphasized how even unverified interference can impact public confidence in election integrity. If we're serious about election integrity, especially with the possibility that a network like Starlink could play a role in altering results, we need to demand thorough checks asterisk after asterisk voting is completed. This possibility of network control impacting our elections is real and should be taken seriously, especially when powerful figures like Trump, Elon Musk, and Putin are involved, given their track records and potential influence. Here's what we can do to ensure our votes are secure. We can demand recounts and risk-limiting audits. RLA's asterisk asterisk. RLA's are a way to double-check results by manually comparing a sample of paper ballots to their digital tollies. If discrepancies are found, we need to push for a full manual recount. This confirms results by providing a paper-based baseline that is immune to digital tampering. State election officials should perform forensic audits of all technology used in the voting process, including voting machines, tabulation systems, and devices involved in transmitting votes, checking logs, verifying software, and reviewing data transfer records to make sure everything is secure and functioning as expected. 
Investigators should compare the hash values of software on voting machines and other election equipment to the original certified versions. This step can confirm that there haven't been any unauthorized changes to the software, ensuring system integrity. We can demand also reviewing network transmission logs from polling places to central servers is another essential step. By examining these logs, election officials can look for any unusual data routing or suspicious activity. Checking logs from providers like Starlink could reveal if any unexpected manipulation or routing took place during vote transmission. By pushing for these actions asterisk after asterisk voting is completed, we're taking concrete steps to protect our elections from any potential outside interference. These measures reinforce the security of our democratic process, ensuring public confidence in election outcomes and keeping our votes safe.